Hey guys, what's up? I'm Mark and in this channel, I talk a little bit about lifestyle, but I mostly talk about business and investments. Today's video has actually been inspired by a question from one of you guys in one of my previous videos. You guys shared your hesitation about investing in Gcash's G-Invest. Now this hesitation comes from the premise or perhaps rumor that when you invest via Gcash, Gcash is padding on additional transactional fees when you redeem or sell out of your funds. Now this commenter actually directed me to Reddit. There is a forum there discussing the additional fees that Gcash pads on. Aww. So I read through the forums and I tried to read through the fine print, but I couldn't really find anything that was particularly saying that Gcash is actually charging more. So I wanted to get to the bottom of this. So instead of digging further and speculating, I thought to myself, why not just do the redemption myself Having the same fund, the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund at my disposal, one in Seedbox and one at Gcash, I can actually redeem both funds at the same time and find out, is Gcash really charging more? Let's find out. So I conducted this experiment on September 13. I had invested 1,000 pesos in Seedbox and I had also invested 1,000 pesos in Gcash. So I've invested in the fund for a little over a year and a half now. And admittedly, the fund is actually at a loss, but the loss that I'm getting would be less than 10 pesos per fund. So that's less than 1%. I could sell my position and do my redemption for the sake of this video. So in the morning of September 13th, I did my redemption from both platforms. So I started with Gcash at 10.42 a.m. and I did the seed box redemption at 10.50 a.m. Why didn't I do it at the same time? Well, it's physically impossible for me to do so, but you might say, does this not affect the pricing? Well, remember, these are mutual funds. You would need to redeem instantaneously when you're trying to sell stocks. But since this is a mutual fund, you're actually just working with cutoff periods. So the few minutes disparity really doesn't matter. Selling my position out of the Atram Global Technology Feeder Fund from Gcash the indicative amount that I would be selling was at 996 pesos and 34 centavos. Keep in mind that this is just an indicative amount. Remember, the NAVPU, the net asset value per unit on display, would actually be reflective of the previous business day. So this is not yet the amount that I am redeeming in. The price that you would be selling at would be the closing price of the current business day. So moving on, for Seedbox, the indicative amount of course is the same at 996 pesos. I think in this case, Seedbox is just not displaying the centavos. So that about wraps up what I had to do for September 13. Remember, when you redeem your mutual funds or UITFs, you actually have a few business days as the processing period. Both redemptions should be completed within 5 business days. So moving on to the next day, surprisingly, Gcash sent me an email that there was somewhat of a miscoordination between Gcash and Atram. So they weren't able to file my request that day, so it had to actually move by one business day. So unfortunately, this experiment will have some disparity already. But no worries, I think we can still work out a fairly easy comparison. Now we can move on to the actual amount and not the indicative amount. The actual amount is at 992 pesos and 96 centavos for Gcash. And moving on to Seedbox, the actual amount is at 991 pesos and 87 centavos. So the one day lag with Gcash actually worked out for me because the fund went up by a little bit. But again, this is very minuscule. It went up by less than 1 peso. So I think we can still get a good comparison as to what actually will get credited to my bank account. So again, 5 business days would mean that I wouldn't be able to get the money into my account until the next week. Aww. I finally got the amount of 991 pesos and 87 centavos on my BPI account. So obviously, this is the amount that's coming from Seedbox and not Gcash because the amount again went through my BPI account. Seedbox actually lived up to their promise to be able to settle it within 5 business days. And for G-Invest, the crediting into my Gcash account happened in September 22, which was 6 business days. So for the amounts that have been credited back into my accounts, again that's 992 pesos and 96 centavos for Gcash, and that's 991 pesos and 87 centavos for Seedbox Philippines. They're not exact, not because of any processing fees whatsoever, 
but it's more of the miscoordination that Gcash had with Atram for the reduction. So with this very minuscule variance, this variance is under 1%. What I can conclude from this experiment, as imperfect as it was, would be that a redemption by a seed box and a redemption by a Gcash are essentially the same. If Gcash is padding on additional fees, then we would be clearly seeing a disparity here, maybe something along the lines of 1 to 1.5%. But clearly, in this experiment, it's a very small disparity that we see. And it's more of a matter of the request coming in in unfortunately different days even when I filed it on the same day. So from this experiment, no, Gcash does not have additional fees. And I hope that if you are considering investing in Gcash or if you're already invested in Ginvest, that this puts your mind at ease. If you want to invest by a seed box instead, well, that's also most welcome. It's working out that both platforms are essentially the same. No additional charges for one platform over the other. What do you think? Has this experiment been helpful? Has it put your mind at ease in investing in these platforms? If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing. If you haven't already, thanks again for watching guys and happy investing.